and new at 10. Police also telling us they believe that Robertson and Davidson were in a relationship before her kidnapping and death. And now anti-domestic violence groups are concerned about the sharp spike of domestic violence situations that they've seen across Jefferson County. And our Taylor Pollock joining us live with their concerns. Taylor, what did they have to tell you? Well, Brittany, they tell me Davidson's death could make the third domestic violence related homicide in Jefferson County within a week's time and that it's going to take a group effort to make sure a story like hers never happens again. According to one place, there were two other domestic violence homicides within the last seven days and police have told us that Cedric Dwayne jo Robertson, the man arrested in connection with Davidson's death, was in a romantic relationship with her at some point. One place says domestic violence Violence is a public health crisis in Jefferson County with about 14,000 related calls a year. Now, you might not think that impacts you, but according to research done in 2021 by One Place and the Jefferson County District Attorney's Office, 74% of all known homicide offenders had a prior domestic violence charge or history on their record. One Place says the most dangerous time for victims is when they're planning to leave or write as they have left and that it's going to take everyone working together to put a stop to it. The issue of domestic violence is a community problem and it's a community safety problem. It's a community violence problem and it's on us as law enforcement, the judicial system, advocacy organizations, and the community in general to come together to support survivors so that they can leave situations safely. And McWilliams tells me that the number one most important thing for everyone to remember is that if someone comes to them and tells them that they are or think they might be in a domestic violence situation, to believe them. We have more information and resources available on our website. I'm in Birmingham, Taylor Pollock, WBRC Fox 6 News on your side.